uh, evaluate the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. So let me call this matrix A and to find the determinant of A, this is the notation for determinant. So what you basically do is you multiply this element by uh, the, deter the 2 by 2 matrix. So let me uh, cover so that so you have to cover this. I'm covering this, these two elements, I'm covering this. So what I'm doing is I'm multiplying. So let me do the working here. So what what is that I can see? I can see you have to multiply this by the determinant of this. So this is equal to 1 times the determinant of this. So this take away this, the product of this take away this. So negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 1 is 3, take away negative 8. So this is the first multiplication. Okay, so let me take, take this away. Now the next is you have to put, put a minus for the next element. So you have to go minus 1 times let me cover this two. So let me cover this two. So you have to cover the other elements of that row and add cover this. Okay. So what is that you can see? I can see you have to multiply this times this, take away this times this. So negative one times two times negative one is negative 2, take away, 5 times 4 is 20. And finally, what is that you can see? You can see the 1, so this is plus 1 times, uh, let me cover this, and this. So what is, what is that you can see? 1 times the determinant of this. So multiply this 2 and take away the product of this. So 1 times, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, take away negative 15. So this is 1 times 3 plus 8 is 11, minus 1 times minus 22, uh, plus 1 times, so this is negative 4 plus 15 is plus 11. So uh, this is how much? This is 11 plus 22 plus 11, which is 44. So the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix is 44. Let me write 44. And we can also do this on a calculator. Those who have a graphic calculator this does uh, that work. So let me show you that. So if you go to matrix and if you go execute, you type in 3. M stands for the row and N stands for the column. So this is 3 rows and 3 columns. So you type in 3 by 3. So this is called a 3 by 3 matrix. Execute and just type in the number 1, 1, 1. 2, negative 3, 4. And then you got 5, comma, negative 2, and negative 1. And then you go execute, exit, exit, and then you go to option, OPTN, matrix, DT, DET is determinant of matrix alpha A. And it will give you 44. The determinant of matrix C is 44. That's what it has calculated. Okay, so let us do one more example. So let me pull this down. I need this. I would like you to do this yourself for the next question. You can pause the video and try to do uh, or the final determinant. So this is something that you learn by practice. So so let me call this determinant B. 
matrix P and we want to find the determinant of matrix P. Okay, so here the same process. So I will, so let me cover this. I like to cover and see what is not to be seen. I don't want to see these two. So let me make this smaller. Okay, so what is that I can see? I want to. Okay, so let me show it to the working here. So this is equal to six times negative three times negative one is three. Take away negative eight. Okay, so now the next is you got one. So for the second element, you have to start with negative one. Okay, and then let me cover this and this. The other elements of the row has to be covered. And what else? I have to cover this. I don't want to say this. So the, it's the determinant of this two. Uh, so this is two by two, so minus one times. 13 times negative one is negative 13. You have to be very careful in the calculation because if you do one mistake, the whole thing is going to go wrong. And finally, when you have one, you have to cover this. So I'm going to cover this, and I'm going to cover this. So if you do the cover up method properly, so this is plus one times 13 times negative two is negative 26. Take away negative 15. It's better to do more steps. So this is six times eight plus three, which is 11 minus one times minus, this is minus 36. Uh, am I right? Uh, minus 13, minus 33. Uh, minus 33, am I right? Yeah. And plus one times, this is how much? Minus 26, plus 15. So let us finish it off. So this is 6 times 11, which is 66, plus this is how much? 33, and this is going to be minus 11. So this is 66 plus 22, 66 uh, plus 22, which is 88. So the determinant is 88. So let's check this again on a calculator. And as a student, it will always good to do this process because later on, I'm going to use this to solve a simultaneous equation of three variables. So let us go to matrix, exit, go to matrix, and let me go to make a new matrix. Again, three by three and typing just the number 6, 1, 1, 13, negative 3, and 4, and 5, negative 2, negative 1. And execute, exit, exit, option, matrix, determinant of matrix alpha B equals 88.